Hi friends! Today let's dive into Frozen. Pretty much everyone I know loves Olaf. What isn't to love? He's a great character. He's got loads of comedic moments. The nicest, gentlest, warmest person ever. Oh, look at that. I've been impaled. <laughs> and loads of intense emotional moments. Some people are worth melting for. But I've always wondered, how come Olaf is even alive? I mean, does Elsa have ice magic and also bring things to life magic? Elsa's magic is very closely linked to her emotions. The stronger she feels an emotion, the stronger her magic becomes. Get it together. Control it. Don't feel. Don't feel. Don't feel. Don't feel. Don't feel. This is why her father teaches her to conceal, don't feel. He believes that by not letting herself feel an emotion, she won't let it escalate and therefore won't let her magic get out of hand. The gloves will help. See? Conceal it. Don't feel it. Don't, don't let, let it show. show. Elsa first creates Olaf when her and Anna are young children. Hi, I'm Olaf, and I like warm hugs. However, this Olaf is not actually alive. And though the snowman manages to stay intact while the children play with him, he instantly crumbles when Elsa strikes Anna with her magic. This is because Olaf is a representation of the happiness the girls feel when playing together and the love that they share. The happiness and love instantly disappear when Anna gets injured. But then why is the next Olaf that Elsa creates alive? I don't have a skull. Or bones. Elsa creates Olaf when she finally embraces her powers during the song Let It Go. Let it go, let it go, can't hold you back anymore. In fact, Olaf is the first thing that Elsa creates with her powers, meaning that though her powers have always been there, they haven't actually been used for years and years. They have been bottled up inside her and then suddenly released in one go. That is a lot of energy to release in such a short amount of time. Elsa is also singing the lyric, can't hold it back anymore when she creates him. Can't hold it back anymore. That it that she's talking about is the longing to be close to Anna and to be happy again. The sudden release of magic and the years of missing her best friend and not letting herself love her sister means that Elsa was unleashing a lot of energy and love. The sheer intensity of this moment was enough to actually create life. When Elsa sees Olaf, she is surprised to see that he is alive. Hi, I'm Olaf and I like warm hugs! Olaf? You built me. Remember that? And you're alive? Yeah, um, I think so. This could be her realizing how much she loves Anna and how much she missed her and hated having to shut her out of her life. You could also relate Olaf's love of Summer to Elsa's love of her sister, who is all things warm and bright. We see Elsa create life again in the movie when she creates Marshmallow. Which, by the way, if you ask me, is kind of a weird name for an evil henchman. Yes, you are. Marshmallow isn't created through a mixture of pent-up magic and unexpressed love, he's actually created through a lot of fear and pain. The fear Elsa feels is on many different levels. She's scared for her own life, she's scared for Arendelle who is now trapped in eternal winter, and she's scared for her little sister. The pain that Elsa feels is also on several different levels. She's in pain because of what she's done to her kingdom and the people that she does love, and she's also in pain because she's having to push her sister away once again. Are you okay? Uh, I'm okay. I'm fine. Who is this? Wait, it, it doesn't matter. Just, you have to go. No, I know we can figure this out together. How? What power do you have to stop this winter? To stop me? Anna, I think we should go. No, I'm not leaving without you, Elsa. Yes, you are. 
Fear and pain are some of the most basic and instinctive natural human emotions, which means they're also some of the strongest emotions we can feel. So though Elsa isn't using pent-up magic, she's feeling so strongly that it is once again able to make life. <laughs> It seems that Elsa isn't able to create life on command, but if she feels an emotion strongly enough, her power will rise with it and she'll be capable of much more intricate magic. I never knew what I was capable of. What's your favourite season? Personally, I love summer. Winter's a good time to stay in and cuddle, but put me in summer and I'll be a... Happy Snowman! <laughs> Please tell me yours in the comment section down below. Also, please make sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I hope you consider subscribing. Until next time, happy bubbles!